good evening everybody and once again welcome to another youtube video if you're watching me for the first time hey guys my name is samil shah i make contents on aws data science machine learning uh, on aws you'll find contents on event bridge serverless framework lambdas uh, ecs uh, s3 kinesis data stream firehose and much much more this video is a hands on session stream data to an http endpoint which is essentially a flask API with Amazon Kinesis Data Fire uh, Firehose, a hands-on lab. All right, let's get started. Three slides, promise no more theory and straight into action, okay? So uh, the first thing that we will read is uh, the value of data is time sensitive. Streaming data services can help you move data quickly from data sources to new destination for downstream processing. Uh, for example, Amazon Kinesis Data Firehose can reliably load st uh, load streaming data into data stores like Amazon S3, Redshift, OpenSearch, and Splunk. Uh, they have recently now expanding the Kinesis Firehose delivery destination to include generic HTTP endpoint. This enables you to fully manage delivery services uh, to HTTP endpoint without building custom application or worrying about operating and managing data delivery infrastructure. Additionally, the HTTP endpoint enhance opens up a number of key integration opportunities between Kinesis Firehose and other AWS services such as DynamoDB, SNS, Redshift, uh, Amazon API Gateway, and much, much more. All the existing uh, data Firehose features are fully supported, including Lambda service integration, retry option, data protection on delivery failure, and cross-account and cross-region data delivery. Traffic between Kinesis Data Firehose and HTTP endpoint is encrypted in transit using HTTPS. Kinesis Firehose incorporates error handling, automatic scaling, transformation, conversion, aggregation, and compression functionality to help you accelerate the development of data streams across your organization. There is no additional cost for this feature. All right, guys, straight into action without um, any, any further delay. I'm on my management console. I'll be heading over to Kinesis, okay? So click on this option, which says Kinesis. Hopefully you guys can see my uh, computer properly. Now over here, I, we wanna choose um, delivery streams. Before we create a delivery stream, uh, we need to start our Flask app and just for, and don't worry about the keys, I'm gonna delete after the lab, okay? So here I have a very simple API, a Flask API that I'm gonna run locally. Uh, and I'm gonna ass essentially tunnel the port for now. Ideally this API will be deployed on an EC2, ECS, or some servers, right? So assuming uh, right now my laptop is my server, I'm gonna deploy this Flask API. Again, it uh, listens to the default port and all it does is essentially um, returns hello world, okay? Now, once that is done, I know that my APIs are working on um, localhost port 5000. What I would do is I will open that on a console. And I mean, I uh, let me uh, fix that quickly. So I'll say try. I'm just gonna add a try catch, I forgot about that. So try. Accept, it's exception. My autocomplete is not working today, not sure why. <laughs> and I'm just gonna say pass for now and I'll just refresh. Okay, I just wanna show you that, um, you know, the, the, the Flask API works. So now I'm gonna refresh my screen. And hopefully um, when I go to localhost, I should see my hello world. Now you'll say, hey, how, how can I process Kinesis Firehose? You said you're gonna do that with Flask. Hang on guys, I'm gonna do that, okay? So the next thing that I wanna do is essentially, I wanna use ngrok to essentially forward my local traffic to public. So what ngrok does is essentially allows you to access your services over a public internet, right? So let's start, um, uh, let me, uh, so let me, let me, let me, let me quickly. So once I, you know, when, once you go to the ngrok setting, right? I'm gonna start that up quickly. So ngrok HTTP 5000 uh, and once it starts, it should give me a public URL so I can copy this particular URL and this will allow me to essentially access my services over a public internet. So now I can go here and I, as you can see, right, uh, if I say slash uh, hello world is printed, right? Now that is exactly what you guys wanted. Now what you wanna do is you wanna copy this on notepad, okay? So I have copied this URL on notepad, a temporary URL that ngrok gave me. So now let's go to Kinesis and, and essentially put this URL there, okay? Uh, back to my Kinesis Firehose, um, um, you know, 
management, I'm, I'm on my management console and the Kinesis Firo tab. So I'm gonna click on create delivery stream and for now I'll use direct port. And the destination, I'm gonna use custom HTTP. Uh, this is a game changer according to me because now it opens up possibilities. You can uh, process all this data with your Flask app or whatever that is and right, push the data to your on-prem servers or wherever you want, right? This is really, really amazing. Uh, so that's there. Um, I'll just name it. Uh, we'll call it my streams. It doesn't matter, whatever you want to call. Uh, data transformation disabled. And here in the HTTP URL, I'll essentially copy this and paste it here. Uh, rest everything, I'll leave it to default. Okay, I don't want to configure anything else. If you want failed data, you could essentially put all the failed data to an S3 location so that automatically FireOS takes care of all of that, right? Uh, and um, prefix for the error message couldn't be error. And that's pretty much it, guys. Just click on create delivery stream and your delivery stream would be uh, now, now, now be created. Remember, we have a simple Flask API. Uh, you will see the data on the console once I publish data to the Kinesis Firehose. Okay, so once my delivery stream is ready, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll pump in some data. It's still creating, so I'll copy this name and then I'll I'll keep this web server open and I'm going to go to a script called publish.py. Don't worry about the credentials. As I said, I am going to delete this after the video. Okay. So now input your stream name here. Uh, in my case, it's my stream. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, essentially publish fake data after a 0.5 seconds to my delivery stream. Okay. And what you would see is it, it would actually come to my Flask API. Now do whatever you want. You can store it in DynamoDB. Uh, push it to a SQL server, whatever you want. This is a game changer, as I said. Automatically, anything that fails, Kinesis will, I mean, the Firos will put everything on, on, on an S3 in a, in, a, in a folder. So that's amazing, that's exactly, I don't have to worry about building my custom pipelines. I can easily develop my API on API, either I wanna go for API Gateway and Lambda, the serverless solutions, right? Or I can go for a Flask API running on an ECS or an EC2, how, however you like. Um, Okay, so my stream is created. Again, as I said, right now I do not have any messages on my app. Uh, I just restarted my server, right? Uh, hopefully you would see that. Now I'm about to publish messages to my Firehose, okay? Ready? All right, let's see. Remember, there's nothing coming coming in here. And now I have started the script called publish.py. Okay, it's publishing, okay? Now watch here closely, okay? So, uh, so again, keep an eye now. Once the uh, data goes there, uh, the data will be uh, passed by, you know, uh, Firehose to the HTTP endpoint, okay? I'm gonna run this again and just watch it, okay? Uh, my, my, my route would be invoked and Kinesis will pass me all the data, uh, data, and then I can iterate over the data. Basically, I can get all the record. I need to essentially decode the base64 because the data is, they, they essentially encode the data in base64. So I'm gonna decode that and I'm gonna print all the data. So let's wait, uh, you should see the data uh, very soon. Okay, so I'm gonna publish some more data and I am simply gonna wait at this point. Again, as you can see, uh, the server is running absolutely fine. Uh, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna check the console to make sure. Uh, so let's head over here. Let's put some more data. Ideally, it takes uh, a little time depending upon the, there you go. See, look, I haven't uh, done anything. Kinesis automatically, you see all the data was uh, see, now it's automatically coming here to my HTTP endpoint, right? And if you see my ngrok, right, um, you see that the uh, APIs have been invoked. You see, you see on the console, right, uh, it's updating, right? So this is how you can use essentially AWS Kinesis Firehose with a custom HTTP endpoint. Again, as I said, this is absolutely game changer because now you can develop pipelines without worrying about anything. You can, cust uh, you can easily make your own end, um, uh, HTTP endpoint that would do the processing and then you can dump the data to any destination as, as you like, right? I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and video. The lab section, the code that I have used in this lab is in the get up section. The links are in the description section below. With that being said, if you have any more questions, list your question and I'll be more than happy to talk and discuss about that. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the 